Mm -hmm. How would I know that it's a space issue versus a sloppy, shitty joint, which we okay. said. Okay, perfect. And so now, so we, we talked about the sloppy, shitty joint. Okay. Now, if it's a space issue, what do I do? Okay, so now it's now it goes back to the more basic understanding of FRC, which is workspace over everything. If there's no workspace in there, there's no anything. And I, and I think this is a another topic that comes up and we were going to expand on this of course in the next summit on on frs strength training methodology but if you if you go to any joints and you're thinking what exercise do i do what exercise don't i do what can this joint do what can't this joint do if that joint doesn't have workspace then whatever other goals you think you have they're gone they're in the back burner if there's no workspace there is no joint. if i said a joint is the space between two bones if there's no space there's no joint. So whatever you think you're programming, you know, you have a, a sprinter and you really need to do hip extension and squatting. You're not squatting if you have no hip, just like you're not hip extending if you can't because you can't move where you can't move. So getting back to it, if there's no space, then you have to say, okay, I need to create capsule space. You go through the same reasoning. How do I create capsule space in the shoulder? I start to internally rotate. Assuming that that's not causing the closing angle pinch, then you're good to go. Make space, make space. A, f a week later, check for the pinch. I guarantee you the pinch will be further along the movement than it was before. If you really diagnose it as a space issue and you're correct, mm -hmm. when you make space this way, you're going to notice that the pinch point is, is running away from you. Now, if you have a pinch point due to a secondary factor like a subacromial bursitis, well, then that's not going to make that change, if that makes sense. Does everyone? Yeah, and, that, and that's where you're. Well, that's where one of the points that you mentioned earlier that I think just will will say again is <clears throat> closing angle joint problems are a collaborative effort. Yes. Yes. Yeah. If, yeah. There's not one thing to do. There's so, only a thought process to. So if you are unsure of what is caught, let's say I am a trainer and I am unsure of what is caught and uh, what is causing the closing angle issue. It is always in our best interest to collaborate with somebody who can evaluate a bit further. If I'm a therapist and I have, you know, a hundred percent feel like I've delineated where, what the cause of the closing angle problem is, uh, I could collaborate with an, with an FRCMS to, to perform whatever is necessary, dependent upon what my diagnosis might be. Mm -hmm. 